Hi boys and girls! Today we are going to read one of my favorite books about a caterpillar that becomes a butterfly. We will talk all about the life cycle of a butterfly and do a quick art activity. Are you ready? Let's go! Hello everyone! Before we begin, let's sing our welcome song. Will you take a deep breath with me? <sighs> Thank you. Hello, preschool friends, how are you? Good, good. Hello, preschool friends, how are you? Good, good. It is time to start our day. We are here to learn and play. Hello, preschool friends, how are you? Good, good. Good job, boys and girls. Today, we are going to read one of my most favorite books about a caterpillar that becomes a butterfly. You might have this book at home. Do you know which one I'm talking about? Did you guess The Very Hungry Caterpillar? I love this book. The Very Hungry Caterpillar was written and illustrated by Eric Carl. Illustrated means that that person, Eric Carl, drew the pictures. He's the illustrator. So when you hear the word illustration, it means drawing. Eric Carl also wrote the words that I'm about to read to you. Are you ready? Let's go. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Do you see the egg? One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to search for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. One. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. One, two. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. One, two, three. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One, two, three, four. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. But he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day, was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Thank you for listening to that book so well and following along with me. I hope you enjoyed that book as much as I did. Did you have a favorite part? My favorite part was when the caterpillar ate through all those yummy fruits. Whenever I read a book, I always like to think about my favorite parts. 
when you are reading a book with a grown-up or looking through a book all by yourself, you can pick a favorite part or a favorite page too. Now let's talk about the life cycle of a butterfly. Uh, a butterfly doesn't just get born a butterfly, it becomes one through a change called metamorphosis. That's a really big word. Do you want to try and say it with me? Metamorphosis. It's how a animal or a plant changes from stages to stages until it becomes its most grown-up version. So a butterfly starts out as a tiny little egg. Do you remember that? A grown-up butterfly lays an egg on a leaf and that's the start of the life cycle of a new butterfly. Inside that egg is a tiny caterpillar that hatches out and starts wiggling around. And do you know what that, the job of that caterpillar is, what it has to do? That's right, it has to eat a lot. Now, I don't think real caterpillars are eating chocolate cake and lollipops. They're eating a lot of leaves, but it is fun to imagine that caterpillar eating things like Swiss cheese and pickles, isn't it? So the caterpillar eats a ton of food and gets bigger and bigger, and then it spins a cocoon around itself. And during that stage of metamorphosis, the caterpillar becomes a chrysalis, and the chrysalis rests and changes at the same time. It doesn't move for a long time. It might wiggle a little bit, but doesn't go anywhere. And slowly, slowly, it becomes a butterfly inside that chrysalis. And once it is all done changing and metamorphosizing, it pushes its way out and it dries its wings off until it's ready to fly. Now let's get up and move our bodies and let's act out the life cycle of a butterfly together. Are you ready? Let's go. I want you to get yourself into a tiny little ball Nice and small, imagine that you are an egg sitting on a leaf. And soon, the caterpillar inside that egg starts to hatch out. Break out of your egg and be the caterpillar, wiggling around and marching around on those leaves. And what does a caterpillar have to do? What is its most important job? To eat leaves. So start eating some leaves Pretend to eat the leaves all around you so you can grow nice and strong and ready to change into the next stage. Now it's time to spin a cocoon around yourself. Spin that cocoon around yourself. Now the caterpillar is becoming the chrysalis. And soon that chrysalis will come to a slow rest and sleep and wait as its body changes and changes, and soon that, that chrysalis knows that it be, has become a butterfly and it's ready to come out of its cocoon. So come out of your cocoon, stretch your arms, dry those beautiful wings, and now you are a beautiful butterfly. Stand up and become that butterfly around your room. Fly around with your delicate wings. Wasn't becoming a butterfly so much fun? Now let's do a quick art project that you can ask your grown-ups to set up for you at home. Let's go. All right, boys and girls, let's do a quick art project. All you need today is a piece of paper, a marker, some scissors, and some paint. We're gonna make a butterfly. So I want you to take this piece of paper and fold it in half. All right, fold it in half. And then I want you to take your marker or a pencil or a crayon and draw a heart. Not a whole heart, I'll show you. I drew one here. It's almost all of the heart except for the bottom point. Now you gotta make sure that that heart is on the folded part on the bottom. Ask a grown-up for help with this, okay? Now, what I want you to do is also ask a grown-up, if you don't know how to cut yet, ask a grown-up to help you cut out the heart, starting from here and going all the way around while it's still folded. And that way, after you've cut out that heart, I have one here, 
See that heart without the bottom? When you open it up, what does it look like? That's right, it looks like a butterfly. But wait, there's more. I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna keep it open. And I'm gonna put some paint on it. What color is that, do you see? That's blue. I'm gonna put a little bit of blue paint wherever I want. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, look at that. It got a little bit messy. And then I have, what color is that? Orange, that's right. And I'm gonna put a little bit of orange on this side. You can even put some on that side too, that's okay. And then finally, see, I have my art pan so I can get it a little messy. Finally I have, what color is that? Yellow, that's right. Oh, that's a new yellow, so I have to do it like this. I'm gonna bloop it over here. Now this is the fun part. Are you ready? After you put your colors on, you take that butterfly and you fold it back up like this. And you press it down gently. You can even say pat, 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 pat. And you know what's gonna happen? That paint is gonna get smushed between those two sides of the paper and look. Whoop. A beautiful butterfly. And you can even see that it looks the same on both sides like a butterfly really does. Isn't that a fun art project? Maybe you can do this one at home. Ask your grown-up to help you set it up. Wow, boys and girls, we learned so much about the life cycle of a butterfly today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you want to show me your butterfly, you can have your grown-up tag me on Instagram at just another preschool teacher. Also, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos in the future. Now let's sing our goodbye song. I have Tucker here. Are you ready, Tucker? I am. Oh, good. <laughs> bye, bye. See you again. Hope to see you soon. Bye, bye. See you again. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye, friends.